You guys, I'm a changed woman. First of all, since I've seen you last, I've become very domesticated in a lot of different ways. I have two lit rollers because, look at this, call it domestication like if you will. Oh my god. Welcome back to Cooking with Ryland and Morgan. Shane's behind the camera because we're still in weird times where it's like maybe not appropriate to have people from your outer circle in your house, which is why it's a great time to be sponsored by Blue Apron because they deliver beautiful meals, freshly packed ingredients, perfect proportions right to your door to cook. So, oh God, I think I have an apron. Oh my God. I have bought- I was gonna ask because you text and you're like, oh, do you wanna cook with me for the blue apron? And I was gonna say, when I got here, I don't wanna do this anymore if you're not gonna get me an apron. Well, like I- Like Jenna and Julian have matching aprons. Sorry, I think- Did you- Shane got me this, right? Or who got me this apron? I just keep forgetting about it. I filmed all of these different videos, all these blue apron videos, <laughs> forgetting that I had these. Oh. I even got flowers for this video. Look how, look at this. You're welcome. Why? What if the pollen gets in the food? You're gonna cook that? I ha oh my god, I'm changed in that direction too because I have an inhaler. I have one. I. You have an inhaler? Yeah, I have bronchitis and asthma frequently. What? Yeah, I have to. I get a prescription one every like two months. I could have let you so, use mine. I could have given a puff for a. I for <laughs> two and a half months have been having a chronic cough. I've been tested for coronavirus twice. Do not have it. Don't have the antibody. And so I, the doctors just think it's allergies. But I have like this debilitating cough that I just can't kick. And also, I, how do people do their own aprons? Oh no, uh, maybe you tie it around the front. <laughs> but then you, that will be in your. <laughs> Normal people just tie it in the back, but you just got good jeans. Well, so it's you a little tie it around twice. <laughs> also, I saw you got a new book. Oh my gosh! Oh, I wanted to do a little birthday haul. It's also been my birthday since I've seen you last. Oh my! <laughs> you so my mom. She sent me those. That one. How to boil water. Oh my god! I need that one. I always get it over the pan. My personal favorite is this one over here that Shane got me for uh, my birthday as well, which Joanna Gaines, I just like want to be her when I grow up. She has everything I want, like the kitchen, all. You already have a kitchen. Oh, no. I, the thing about cookbooks, you see them in everyone's house, but you have you ever seen one open a cookbook and use a recipe while the cookbook is sitting on the counter? No. No, because we have things like Blue Apron that send you perfectly portioned meals to your door, so I don't have to use the recipe books. Although I do have a right. fantasy that maybe one day I will. <laughs> and you can get a discount, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you can't get a discount. This is perfect. Andrew okay. is better at like leaning into the. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna ask why Andrew's not laughing. Could you at least laugh for us, Shane? He doesn't even think we're funny. <laughs> Here we go. First 100 people to sign up using the link in my description get $30 off their very first box of Blue Apron. Do they have Blue Apron for cats? I upgraded the kitchen because we haven't been able. <sighs> to really leave the house. Shane and I have been cooking our own meals, believe it or not, so I'd like to think my techniques have gotten a little bit better. For my birthday, Morgan also got me a whole Chrissy Teigen pan set. So now I have like the gamut of pots and pans, which now I know the difference. People Take note, men, me. I give good gifts. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, what are you gonna cook for me? Because right. I'm eating different. I was stress eating carrots earlier because I don't have anything to eat. <laughs> stress eating carrots. Yeah, don't I need stress. a glass of wine before I can cook. You know what's interesting about the dynamic of our family? I was asking him about his eating habits like a long time ago, and I was like, well, when you get sad or stressed, don't you like stress eat? And he was like, I've never used food for something that's like going on in my life. Well, no, I don't like eat ice cream when I'm sad. You're gonna be really annoyed when I say this, but I have to like go take a run or like breather or like go to headspace or something. And that's how I like deal with that kind of thing. So that's why I think that I wasn't born into the correct family because I don't get how your brain's like that and my brain isn't. Well, two things. Our dad isn't your dad. Cause why are you what? taller? I, I'm just. <laughs> what do you I'm know that I hypothesizing, <laughs> theoreticalizing. Hypo you know what I'm doing. Also, look at what happened to this. Uh, uh, is that mold? I don't know what's in there. 
I look so wait, you I'm think I have a different dad? Well, explain why you're, why you're taller than both Austin and I. And dad. Yeah, why, how are you the tallest in the family? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Everyone in our family is like a one-story house and I'm in the Empire State <laughs> Building just lurking over. It's really upsetting. Are you gonna have wine? Yeah, I'm ready to get plastered if we're gonna be honest. Same, I haven't really been, because I've had this cough, I've been scared of drinking for some reason. But tonight- <laughs> Drinking affects your esophagus. Esophagus. I don't know. I don't like having my mind altered at like an altered state. I don't like red wine, but you already, I guess I can. I have different things. Well, it's already. You done. can choose your own poison. All right, let me show you what's on the menu tonight, ladies. Ugh. No one really enjoys this. I'm just gonna say it. It gets you dizzy though. Like, <laughs> like when I drink wine, I'm actually like spinning around the circle. Well, I love wine, but you can really only have like one glass or you feel funky in the morning. <laughs> That's how I feel after I eat 10,000 calories. <laughs> I gotta wake up to do my gardening. I can't feel bad in the morning, which, oh my God, I haven't brought you guys along my gardening journey. Maybe I'll throw some of the clips into this. Day one of starting my garden, but literally a year later. Today I'm just gonna loosen everything up. I really went at it with my garden during this break. I'm gonna write a book about our developmental differences and how you became this and I became <laughs> this because it truly does not make sense to me. You're never gonna catch me gardening in my yard for fun. Well, here's the issue. Go to the grocery store and buy something. So a I was, <laughs> well no, it's lettuce. more of like a hobby. I like to be outdoors and it was fun. So I started, I was very excited, get this. I was getting major growth. Things were happening. I went out on FaceTime to show my mom something had eaten my garden. Oh my God, it was probably my snail. I think it's rabbits. So now I'm gonna have to do take two. I didn't get any produce. I didn't get to harvest anything, which I watch all the gardening channels now and they all like throw their harvest days in your face. Just pull from the garden which i get really upset about that i haven't harvested and now i'm gonna have to build an enclosure just to redo a garden which like let's be honest i'll probably still buy my vegetables at the store anyways our options for tonight can i have another one you already finished you were going on for too long <laughs> i know about something people are I like can you start understand. fucking cooking <laughs> well you're getting now it's gonna taste good aren't you traveling tomorrow how are you gonna oh yeah i don't know if you want a second glass Okay, do we want to be refined, ladies? I don't have... like salmon. I don't like anything that was swimming in the ocean. <laughs> really? I, I'm popular opinion, fish are friends, not food. I stand behind that. See, I'm less, I'm more of a pescatarian. Okay, we will do this. No, pescatarian, that means you don't eat fish. Uh, no, it doesn't. That means that you eat fish and no meat. Oh. Yes, it does. Yeah, you're right. God, this is not helping Every people think no. we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tonight we're doing the black bean and smoked gouda flautas. I've never made flautas. <laughs> That's sure it's oh, no. no, oh my God. This is like, okay, she's had a glass of wine. We're not this stupid. Flautas? I would really like the internet for once to not think I'm dumb. Oh, I've passed that point. I don't care anymore. Hey, wait, wait, where's Siri? Just to show off Blue Apron's fresh ingredients, look how beautiful the salmon, it like comes airtight sealed. Uh, Our tortillas. Oh, see? Flautas. Well, hips. Can it, yeah. Flautas. Flautas. Maybe we should just make the salmon and I'll shove it back. I don't know. <laughs> shove it back? <laughs> that is not what we're doing with our fresh ingredients. We're not having to shove anything back. We're gonna enjoy. Mayonnaise. I love mayo, a spicy mayo. Mm. I have a theory. What? In my personal opinion, the only mayo that is good mayo is the mayo that they squeeze out of the bottle at Subway. It's different. Yeah. 
Well, they probably just put a little bit more sugar or something into it. I just want to hear other people's opinions if Subway mayo is different, because it is. Well, how long does this recipe take? This one is 30 to 40 minutes. So all of Blue Apron's meals are able to be prepared in 40 minutes or under. Some of them are 20 minute exclusive. So when you're looking, there's a bunch of different, like two people serving options, four people serving options, lots of vegetarian options. And what's exciting is right now they have, uh, what's it called? Seriously? <laughs> that looks like me cheating on a test in high school. Oh no, I just didn't know what they, they were calling it. Okay, right now they're featuring a premium recipe, which is something more like you would get at a restaurant. It broadens your horizon in using a technique that you maybe haven't done before. So you can have date night at home. Correct. But then what's the point of going on a date if you're eating Are you home? kidding me? I love going on dates at home. That's what Shane and I do every single <laughs> I've laid out the ingredients, but I want to show you something else. Shane got me something iconic for my birthday. And I don't use the word iconic lightly, but he got me an all edge brownie pan. Every single piece will have at least two chewy edges. So for dessert, I think we're gonna throw this bad boy into the oven and test it out. Mm. But Is it a box mix? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. A non-box mix. <laughs> so what they're saying to do is we need to chop the cabbage. Oh my god, we have to zest the lime. We have another chance. And I wanna say, <laughs> yeah, that's your I get redemption. Okay, so they got me. Oh, it's that, it's that, it's that here. Okay, Blue Apron typically has a marketplace where they sell fun things like this. Right now it's down because of uh, just like shipping things, but normally they have this. And after they watched the last Blue Apron video, they actually sent me this from their site. And it's perfect because I didn't even realize this recipe has the things that I was challenged at last time. Is it greater? Oh, we're doing or this greater? again? I think we, we already had that. this great debate. I really do think No, that is we... it cheese grater? Like, I'm gonna grate Did you wash your hands? I don't know where your hands have been. Morgan's notorious for not washing her hands. Seriously, I just had to explain like a few weeks ago that I do wash my hands. You do again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now you really need to wash your hands. I the state do, of the I world. Do. We gotta get all the germies off. I am an avid hand washer. I will say I did not. Like two years ago, I would wash my hands maybe like once a week. If you shower twice a day, which I used to do, then I don't see the problem. Just saying. I still don't know the proper way to actually chop something like this. I don't really want the like ends, all the ends like that. So I'm just gonna Here, toss I'll do that this. one. Yeah, we need to open the beans. So. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting because I've never pan fried something. Oh, and that's what we're doing with these flacos. You know what I was thinking about today? What? I was looking at this Twitter thread about like how to stay mentally sane in the coronavirus pandemic. And everyone was like, you need to be hugging your family who you're quarantined with often. And I was just sitting back in my bed and I was like- Big yikes. How, like if we hugged, that would be so weird. <laughs> the most awkward encounter ever. <laughs> like even our mom and dad, like whenever there's like a hug, like a goodbye, like it's like a, you feel forced, like a one arm thing, you well, know? I, that's like what... I'm not two arming anyone in our family, but other people do. Well, that is what's weird. Cause I would say we have a very loving family, but we very much so lack intimacy and not in a not like uh like what ancestor incest incestant what is it what is it incestual <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to no come on we know what we're talking about no it's we're just not lovey-dovey like we're not touchy-feely kind of people oh yeah like if someone you know when you meet people and they're like i'm a hugger I'm like do you think we've ever hugged no <laughs> no 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 and if we did it would be like it would feel like a crime almost yeah, our family even has issues with like the love word. Like it's I don't like we all only exclusively say it to my mom. I love mom so much. Mom's my best friend, maybe. <laughs> what about me? Well, you too. I talk to mom on the phone more than I talk to you though. But I guess I don't Every see time. her. See, he didn't do it this time because he knows that it triggers me. But he'll be like, "We have no friends," and I'm like, "What about me?" And he goes, "You're my sister." Well, how have you been doing? <laughs> I want to 
make sure my friends are okay, you know? <laughs> so like, you've been alone. I mean, you're able to come here. How, how's the state of your mind after being alone for essentially months? Uh, I mean the same as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my thing is, I nothing has really changed for me. Are you like, helping, or are you just eating cherries? Oh, I bought the cherries, so I want to eat them. I guess I haven't had a cherry since we used to go to Cherry Hills. Are there pits in them? Mm-hmm. You have to spit them out, but I have a spitting cup. We could spit our pits wow. in the same cup instead of hugging, if that is like a role of family bonding. <laughs> it, it, it's not that our family doesn't love each other. We just don't know how to express it. I know, but now I'm noticing it like within my friendships because like Trinity even will always be like, I want to hug you and I'm like, ugh. See, like I don't know about that. Uh, uh, and that's divided with my friends too. There's like a large majority of them that are also weird like me and then there's some of them that are like, I'm going to hug you. But then I like that, but I guess it's based on like how the relationship starts. This is going tragic. <laughs> My freaking board! Uh, hello, tie-dye is the new thing. All the Instagram bloggers are doing it and tie-dyeing your cutting board could be the new thing. I can't talk, I'm right. a little tipsy. Can you watch while you're cutting? Ow! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jesus. yeah, you're right. Oh my God, splatter all over the sink. Oh my God. <laughs> that looks like a Taco Bell night. Ew. <laughs> Ew, no, the morning after Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, see, my system works bad. <laughs> it knows there's more on the way. <laughs> Wait, do you not have a scheduled time for that? Oh, no, I go multiple times a day. <laughs> I have, like, a scheduled routine, and then sometimes there's we a know, bonus. You have a scheduled routine. You wake up and you garden, and then you eat your oatmeal and your banana, and then you No, go I go number two before I go gardening. <laughs> I used this for the first time when I wasn't filming anything, and I cut myself so insanely. Oh, I wish we had one of these. Remember what? like 10 years- That's how I cut myself. <laughs> 10 years ago and everyone would like tie a rubber band to their sink. So then their parents would go and turn the sink on and it would shoot your parents. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! Yeah, that's something evil that you would have done at mom and dad's house that he would have then got really mad at oh, you about. Yeah. Morgan I used to put saran wrap on the toilets. So then it like- <laughs> I was an evil child. And you wonder why you and dad had a rocky relationship for a second. Ooh. <laughs> well, no, you guys are back and better than ever. Come on. Yeah, we made a no. recovery. No, I, I don't think that's a secret. You and Austin used to purposefully piss off dad. Like, I think, oh, come on, you would eat your cereal and blatantly leave it in the family room. That would drive me nuts, too. And I wouldn't even, it wasn't even my house. Yeah, like, if I was pissed off at dad, I'd be eating my cereal and then I'd look at the bowl with the milk still in it and I'd just leave it there and be like, this is going to be a storm later and I'm ready. I got my umbrella and I got my raincoat and I'm ready for some lightning up in this business. Play rain on me. Ah, okay. It wasn't out then. <laughs> we didn't have ways to cope back then. We just hid in our closets and cried. Okay, so I think once you get this close, you have to just kind of chop it yourself or you cut your finger well, on the What's grater. the point of a cheese grater? Well, I, do you want to get that close? to a cheese grater with your hand? No. What is this, a bowl for a squirrel? <laughs> Seriously? Oh. oh wait. Ooh, that looks like cottage cheese. Lit oh my god! Look at the reveal. <laughs> That's that. nice. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go in with this same knife without cleaning it and just really, I guess wow, that doesn't. Wow, that looks like the, wow. I would say it's not safe to use a knife like this after you've been drinking wine. Do you have any skizzers? Yeah, in the next Oh, never mind. Set. There's a preparation. Yeah, Blue Apron has you. They actually, I'm telling you, they have yeah, some, They have me what? They have some <laughs> eco-friendly packaging. Pablano sauce. <laughs> Over 85% of Blue Apron's packaging is recyclable. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. <laughs> I think we've prepared our ingredients pretty beautifully. Wait, I'm not done yet. Oh, we still have to zest the lime. I'm still confused on how to zest a lime, and I googled multiple oh videos on zesting limes. You, so you need to wash the lime, and then you just do a little bit of the peel. Okay, can we just just hope it's nice? Whoa, okay, we can start making good mixed drinks like this too. See how it's coming in up on the top? I don't know about this. No, that's gonna be delicious. I think that's enough. Well, Morgan, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What, like A, leave it in the sink or pour it in a bowl. 
Jesus. I'm, I haven't <laughs> eaten <laughs> so long, and I just chugged three of these. I'm sorry. Okay, mayo zest and two <laughs> lime wedges. We have a black bean <laughs> problem. <laughs> mayo, the, the lime zest. I keep buying kitchen gadgets because it's super useful. Wait, wait a second. Look at that. Wow. Just like that, you I have a perfectly juiced lime. No, you're, I, there, it's controversial on which way you put the lime, but mm. I have my own to each method their own. to the madness. You know what? I ordered the same one and I haven't used it yet. It just really? looked a little weird. I use mine every day because I like lemon water. Good for your digestive system. Good for that morning poo. <laughs> If you didn't have Taco Bell and it's not sliding right now. Okay. Haven't you been drinking the celery juice I've been giving you? Yes, I have been drinking juices oh, every dangerous. day. But my skin's been great until I started drinking it. And now I have little blemishes. And so I'm thinking like the reverse is happening and that doctor on Instagram is lying to me. Well, I think it's like it gets worse before it gets better. It's oh, okay. Yeah, system. that's what everyone says. Let me add the more mayo. Mm, okay. This is where the magic is going to start to take place. Oh my God. Did I tell tell anyone about how Chrissy Teigen stole my bearded dragon? Oh no, I don't think you were telling people. Morgan really wanted to get a bearded dragon, but I thought that it would not get along with your cat. Right, so the animal shelter that we adopted Cookie from, has, I follow them on Instagram, I'm a big fan. They were posting all of these videos of a bearded dragon that they had, and I was like, oh my god, it like walks on a leash outside, it like eats breakfast with you, it sits on your shoulder, and I was like, I think I really want this bearded dragon, and they were like, don't get the bearded dragon, because Cookie's not gonna get along with it. And then the animal shelter posted that the bearded dragon had been adopted before I got a chance to get to it. Seconds, milliseconds later, Miss Chrissy Teigen went to Twitter and said, just adopted a bearded dragon from the same Los Angeles animal shelter. Coincidence? I think not. She stole my spirit dragon spirit. <laughs> <laughs> she probably saw where you got cookie and is just so influenced by you that mm. she had to go to the same <laughs> shelter. They have a pig <clears throat> currently. <gasps> That's something I might need to look into. The Chrissy Teigen pans get really, really hot. <laughs> they don't mash very easily. They're high quality beans. Blue Apron does not scam you on the bean department. They do not want your beans to burst. Now we're adding in the sauce. It said to do it slowly, but you know, I'm not good at following instructions. <laughs> With a fourth cup of water. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Now it's gonna heat up and thicken up. Wow. Oh my god, Cheeto's eating the cheese. Oh, Cheeto! Cheeto! <laughs> Get out of here. Cheeto loves cheese, legit. He eats cheeses every time I try to eat them. Well, who's giving him cheeses? <laughs> uh, not, not me. <laughs> it couldn't be me. <laughs> he cleans before the mess is even made. Oh no. Listen. Have you been drinking at home alone? No, I, I refuse to drink home alone because I did that once and I felt so like this is a problem. So whenever I do decide to drink, it's always with people. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna drink, then I'm gonna just get drunk because I don't drink very often, you know? Right. So like, then send it or nothing. Yeah, send it or end it. I guess in this case, you kind of do both. I set out the tortillas, so we're almost ready to go. The consistency is now perfect. Like if I stir it a little bit, it's gonna be Ooh. Mm, genius. We're gonna transfer it in. Mm, yum. I feel like I'm on 30 minute meals. Yeah. Because uh, I already have this all prepped out. I'm like, okay. Now we're gonna add the cheese, which is marvelous. You know, we're gonna, mm, this is what's really good. Oh yeah. The queso mm -hmm. and the free mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We can put, I guess, let's just put all the cheese. Yeah, the more, put it all. The more cheese, the merrier. Uh, do you like light jalapenos or heavy? Uh. Perfect. And then <laughs> I'm actually just gonna use the whole board as a little. That's all a garnish. Where did my spoon go? I can't oh, say that I'm a cabbage here. stand, but I'm interested to taste it. Well, that's just the side anyway, so it's oh not my, gonna it's go. Oh my, side? You don't cook it? No, that's just the side. It's like coleslaw. <laughs> Cole. <laughs> I still don't know the problem it's with that. Cole slaw, the, like cole sprouts with a slaw at the end. Cole, well, it was, it's cabbage, right? It's chopped up cabbage. 
Uh. Wow, this looks <laughs> delicious. You're saying it like Cody coleslaw, where it's Coast really slaw. cole sprout slaw, cabbage. like cole slaw. I think neither should matter because the base of it should be cabbage and neither resemble that. There's, so, it's lettuce. I'm gonna try to get an even amount onto each one of these. Oh my since... God, coleslaw has mayonnaise in it, ew. So does this recipe, Morgan. Is it Subway mayonnaise? <laughs> I could drink a whole bottle of that with a straw. It's really weird that you're only okay with Subway mayo. I stay loyal to things that I appreciate. I guess that's good. So it's kind of like an enchilada almost without the... I clean my hands, so just relax. I wasn't worried. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're the least germaphobic person, which is maybe concerning. So okay. do you cook these in the oven? No, we're gonna pan fry them oh. so they're a little like... Interesting. Fried and delicious. Do oh, you want to take a bite of this? Mm -mm. Look at it, come on. He's gonna go. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is my kind of meal. See, I would only do that with like a brownie batter. <laughs> Coming up. Okay, so I'm no expert at frying things, but I think you just add a tiny bit of oil, right? Uh, whoa, 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 what? whoa. I don't know. I think you just do a light, a light coating. And then we probably turn it on low. Perfect. I'll bring the flappers. I'm starting to sweat. I don't trust you. You're going to drop those and then it's going to be like our, all of our work for nothing. This is as close as we're ever going to get to a hug. Everybody take Here, let's a Let's put them on this shot. side. <laughs> it's hot. I know. Cooking's a workout. Um, oh, I guess it's cute. It's like a purple salad. Okay, I shouldn't be doing this without a cutting board. I'm just setting up the presentation. I probably need a little bit more oil in the pan because it got too hot. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? I'm trying to watch my acne. Well, Chill with the olive oil. <laughs> okay. We're not deep frying it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's I gonna think turn that's out like point. a chicken tender. Look okay, it. Why didn't I have a towel on me the whole time? Julian Solomita would never. <laughs> Julian Solomita would never invite Jenna to do a cooking video without getting her a custom apron beforehand. Does the oil look hot enough yet? Yeah, it's ready to bust out the mountain range in my pores. Okay, here we go. Let me wipe my hands. We'll put these face down, just like the mama taught us. <laughs> oh here we go. <laughs> I don't know what mom taught you, but mom did not teach me to put my face down. I hope that's not too much oil. I feel like it is. Let me pour a little oil. Mom taught you to go face down. <laughs> Here we go. You like to clean and cook, clean and cook. So we're going to let that cook while we clean. I like to watch. Okay, well, yeah, you make sure that it doesn't burn or anything. Okay. Okay. Morgan Adams goes in for the first Oh my flip. gosh. Oh no, oh. they're all starting to burn. Ah, hurry, ah, hurry. Oh my God, I can do two at a time. Oh, I can flip two. Okay. Ow! Ow! Actually, those are probably perfect. That is burnt. Okay, but I like burnt a little Ooh. bit. Let's turn it lower. That's going to be actually pretty good. I know it looks a little burnt. No, that's great. Uh, it looks good. It looks crispy. I like things kind of burnt. Oh my God, I feel so accomplished. I flipped something. But <laughs> That's what self-satisfaction feels what? like. It was My going? dopamine levels are rising. Okay, I think they're probably done, actually. Yeah, turn this off. He goes in for the plating experience. Here we go. Woo! The new version of like dad's barbecuing on the 4th of July is now gays and aprons for blue aprons. <laughs> gays and aprons! <laughs> Woo! Look at Ooh. We really did it. Oh my god. It does look really good. Yeah, it looks professional. It looks like a healthy LA restaurant. Mm, vegetarian and everything. Ow! I feel very accomplished because it looks exactly like the brochure. I didn't really do much, but I'm proud of you for accomplishing your hopes and dreams. No, I think you helped. I'm gonna... You're already eating? You yeah, I'm gonna wait. cleanse my palate with just this because like, you know, really crunchy. <laughs> Me personally, I'm more of like a handsy person. Oh so my I think god, I'm... you're just gonna pick it up, you monster. Well, no, look at, I mean, my fold is really good, so it's gonna stay in there. Are you gonna try so we can cheers these? Pick it up so we can like clink. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> picking this up and putting it in my mouth on camera. <laughs> this is not only fans. Girls supporting girls. Mmm. Wow. I like the crunch. And there's a perfect spice to it, the jalapenos in my opinion, was their best addition. Oh, look at this, this is cool. <laughs> mm. 
Whoa. It's almost like the same vibe of putting a mozzarella stick in your mouth because you get the inside that's mushy and the outside that's a little crispy but not crunchy. It's just like a nice tender bite. And it's healthier than a mozzarella stick because it's not filled with cheese. There is a, a decent amount of cheese. It is. <laughs> Isn't it filled with cheese? Let me get you like a really good in-depth shot of it gushing and the steam mm -hmm. and the cheese. It's got the kick that like complements the wine. Well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna eat both of them. Me too. Cheers. <laughs> like if you were throwing a party, right? Mm -hmm. You could have these out and people could just pick them up and go like a little sandwich. I would definitely walk around a party with this. Yeah, like in a little napkin and you're socializing, trying mm -hmm. to make friends, thinking about when you can go home. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much, Blue Apron, for sponsoring this video. I honestly love it. you so you much. You don't want me to finish eating it? Well, we can finish eating, but I just also want to remind them that you guys can use the link below and get $30 off of your very first order. From a personal perspective, your cooking videos are my favorite videos because it's the only time that we've ever had a home-cooked meal. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Thank you for my first home-cooked meal, and I can't wait to do this again because until <laughs> next time, I will be eating cup of noodle <laughs> and loving it. All right, we'll say. Since we've been at home, I eat top ramen maybe once a day. See? It's a luxury food if you ask me. It's cheap and it's good. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Cooking with My Sister. Thank you, Blue Apron. I love you guys very much. Thanks for supporting. Talk to you next time. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, the brownies are done. Well, at least they think. They might be a little bit doughy in the center. Oh, perfect. You know how people say like you can't eat cookie dough? But don't like bodybuilders make shakes with raw eggs? Isn't me eating cookie dough and brownie dough the same as a bodybuilder eating a raw egg shake? I'm a little drunk. <laughs> so like, watch this. Because it's all edges, oh, this is gonna be everything. Ooh. Oh, they're perfect actually, cut. it's perfect. You could start a bake shop. The guy that started this has to be a millionaire. I mean, it's a genius idea. It is a little doughy, but that's like my preferred. What kind of toppings do you have? Do you have caramel sauce? Caramel? Yeah, to put on a brownie. Oh, there's some sea salt caramel ice cream. Oh yeah, I get that But it's dairy-free. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, they are perfectly cooked. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Oh my God, it's so good. It's perfect. I've never seen something so perfect in my entire life. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Good night, world. <laughs>